French president says blasphemy is no crime and religion can be mocked. French President Emmanuel Macron has added his voice to the thousands who have spoken out in defense of a schoolgirl forced into hiding after she criticized Islam. According to The Guardian, Macron said in defending the girl, identified only as Mila, insisted that blasphemy is no crime. The law is clear. We have the right to blaspheme to criticize, to caricature religions. And then he said, what is outlawed is to incite hate and attack dignity. Attacking dignity seems to me a little bit amorphous, but so that's what he said. He's weighed in on this. Yeah, I'm glad that he came out and said that. Like, we, I mean, obvi- it's France. Obviously, it's a secular country, and they're mm-hmm. better than most European countries when it comes to not letting Islam bully them around, unlike some countries like United Kingdom, right? Um, So, so, I mean, but but even though France has been on the right side of this in in many levels, you you wouldn't think like the president wouldn't, like people like, well, what might think that this is not a big deal? No, it's good that he actually said it. Like, it's good that, you know, he didn't have to say it. He could have just let the law do its job and you'd be like I don't have to get I don't have to get involved in this it could be politically risky for me to be like uh, you know to defend someone's right this is in reference to that to that um, girl that was talking against Islam right the teenage the girl teenager. that so for people that don't know last week we were covering this there was this teenage girl that said something against Islam and she was being attacked and she was being targeted and she's getting death threats and even some people that were not Muslim. Obviously, we know who were giving, who was giving her the death threats. It was the Muslims, but even the non-Muslims were giving her the, like the racist allegations and stuff. But she didn't back down, and it's good to see that. You know, the, you know, it's not just some, you know, some red-pilled people are saying that like, oh yeah, she should defend herself and Islam sucks and stuff. No, it's the like, and she, even the people that are not saying Islam sucks, it's like, oh, she has the right, she should be able to criticize Islam and stuff. No, it's the president. Like, it's good that we're getting, you know, this statement from such a high position, right? We need more defense of blasphemy, more defense of people being able to, um, you know, say their opinions about religion without without consequences again even if you have it in the law that there shouldn't be a consequence sometimes in practice the pressure that you get from the society is so strong that even if the government is not coming at you you feel like it doesn't feel like you know as the consequences of me stating an opinion seems to be too high so it's good that somebody from such a high position comes and validates the fact that blasphemy is a right it's i mean it's you think like blasphemy is no crime yeah obviously it's not a crime you're in france of course it's not a crime so why would you even have to say that no it it helps remove the social pressure on a teenage girl that was just saying her opinions against against a religion and opinions that opinions that i agree with but it doesn't even matter that i agree with it right like we shouldn't by the way be careful guys don't we shouldn't just be defending her just because most of us here agree with her, right? Most of us here think like, yeah, when she thinks Islam is dangerous and stuff, we're defending her and we think like, oh, we should support her because she has every right to say it. That's easy to do. It's easy to defend people's, like, the, like right now Muslims are not defending her and, you know, a lot of people, a lot of woke type people are not defending her. And we're defending her, but we shouldn't be hypocrites. We should also be. We should also be there for her if she was saying something that we don't agree with, and she was getting the, all the social backlash and pressure, right? So don't defend people's right to blaspheme or to say things that is not people don't accept just when they're on your side okay do it consistently angel give us a super chat by the way angel is saying love you armin and everyone but you're still quiet but i can't live with it oh my god what do i do i don't want you to guys to have to live with it uh, let it go no, no, let it gonna, go no, stop. We're, we're gonna get a copyright strike seriously i'm not even joking no i'm not even joking don't do that we're gonna get a copyright strike uh 
<laughs> Guys, seriously, I fixed the audio levels. Isn't that better now? Okay, God damn it. I don't know well, I wanted to piggyback on what you were saying, right. Armin, right. about um, the importance of the president saying this. Because he didn't just say that blasphemy is a right and you have the right to criticize religion. He also talked about the fact, he said that, he said that in the debate, we've lost sight of the fact that she's an adolescent. Mm-hmm. And we, meaning the state of France, owe her protection in school, in her daily life, and in her movements. The president also added that finding a new school for her, that the state has fulfilled their responsibility towards her, and that children need to be better protected from these new forms of har- harassment and hatred online. So he's defending her right to say it, but he's also saying, look, the state has a responsibility to protect its citizens, particularly young people, and that it was our responsibility to find a new school for her and protect her. And I think that was really important, too. He's reminding people that she is a teenager, mm. and there's no reason that she should be having death threats over her opinion. You were no kidding, yeah. So, yeah. all right. So the top comment again. I'm gonna to try to speak louder because there's a problem with my microphone today. Um, Aram is saying blasphemy laws imply that an all-powerful God is incapable of defending itself. This clearly makes blasphemy laws blasphemous. Yeah, this is some. Whose quote is that? I, you know, we should give them credit. Uh, uh, Camille, Camille is saying, "Oh, we oui, look who is S H." S H I T T E I N G in his pants and tries to act all popular and progressive now. Um, haha, no, it's exit for you next election. You screwed over f- far too many people in France. Okay, we don't, we just, I don't, uh, we know, we don't, we're not very much involved in Fran- French politics. Just because, you know, you could be like, yeah, he did the right, he said the right thing here, whether you're not, you agree with his politics or not, okay? So, we're not, if we say, like, we defend what he's, Macron is saying here, at, you know, in this very specific situation, we're not endorsing him, or we're not saying being for or against any of his other positions. I mean, that seems obvious, but people are morons, so we have to point it out. Um, how's my, how's my audio? Is my audio getting better? I don't know. All right, so, news. thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not... Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So, to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way, okay? So, yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share! Share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, th- videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.